All right. What's going on, gang? Good afternoon. How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I've got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle. Anyone? Hey, my name's Alan Cox. Welcome. You just heard it, but I'll say it again. But I'm not alone. If you're watching live, you already know that. It's me and Johnny Beanie. Bill Squire is right over there. Say hi to him. Hey, creepy hugs, everyone. Thanks for listening to and watching this episode of The Alan Cox Show. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share a cold one with the boys. Uh, you're you not alone. You sound mellow. But you die alone. Uh, you absolutely yeah. die alone. I just want to make sure you remember that. Of course. I'll never forget. Uh, you sound mellow. <clears throat> yeah. I, I, you pretty, okay? Yeah, I'm fine. i just uh, been a busy day. Busy okay. day. and But, you know, those Cleveland Comedy Awards are tonight, so I got to get... All right. Excited for those. I think I shot my load on that a day early. Right? We should have talked. To, I go, we can talk about it again today. Yeah. We can. Um, hey, Mary Santora is right over there, too. Hi, guys. Pound Cake's back in Studio G. Afternoon, white people. I'm trying to make myself shot out of a cannon because I've been up since 1 a.m. Ooh. For what? And I just couldn't sleep. Because so, your throat? What's that? Because your throat? No, no, no. No, my throat, my, I don't have a sore throat or anything. It's just I have something. <clears throat> no, no, I just could not sleep. And so uh, anyway, I'm, uh, I, I'll am i probably be a little uh, uh, not absent-minded, but I'm really, really going to uh, uh, have to be laser-focused today. What I want to talk about, what, what we're going to do, all that kind of stuff. Like I'm any other day, but some days it's easier to... to Nail down that focus. Although, I will say, I got a great start to my day. I got an email. You know, a lot of this spam email you'll get, and it's not really targeted to you. It's just they're shooting it out there with an elephant gun. Whatever they hit, they hit. So it's rare that you'll get one that's so specifically targeted to you, and I think this is probably we're going to see more and more of this. Uh, The subject line just said, Ready to double your income, queen? Hmm. Aww. And, you know, it's so rare that I'll get recognized uh, in that way that uh, made me feel good. It's a nice way to start the day. Was it comma queen or was it just ready to double your income queen? (laughs) K-W-E-E-N. Well, that would be the question. Was it K-W-E-E-N? No, it was spelled Q-U-E-E-N. But you're right, comma queen. As opposed to ready to double your income queen. What is an income queen? Double your income, queen. Double your income, queen. Well, he asked if there was if, a comma. Right. Maybe if you have a sugar mama, you get two. Your income, queen. An income, queen. All right. You know, in the 80s, Ronald Reagan would talk about welfare queens, right? They were trying to divert attention away from all the corporate scumbags that were actually uh, misspending government money and, and pretending that it was poor people who were doing it. And so maybe an income, queen, is some new uh, bit of vernacular that they're trying to work in. But anyway... It's so rare, uh, nay, uh, it never happens uh, that I'm referred to in an email as a queen, and uh, I've never thought about it, but uh, it was a a nice way to start the day. If you'd like to join us, uh, please do. If you want to call 216-578-1007, you can send me a text, uh, 35192, alancoxshow.com. Alan, please tell Bill not to forget. We were talking about this yesterday. While Bambi and Flower are boys' names, Beef is a girl's name. Duh. Duh. (laughs) Everybody knows Beef's a girl name. The fact that we're even going over this. Uh Uh-huh. That's right. So anybody watch the show The Great North? Yeah, I watch The Great North. Yeah. Love The Great North. Beef Tobin is what I think about. That's Nick Offerman's uh, characters. The the people that do Bob's Burgers Mm -hmm. have another cartoon called The Great North. About a family that lives in Alaska, and uh, all the ki- all the names are very strange. Uh, the dad is Beef, uh, the son is Wolf, uh, the youngest son is Moon, um, but uh, Beef, as Bill Squire has mentioned before, is a female uh, name. They don't like to play gender roles too much on the Great North, so That's I right. see why they took the chance and went with Beef for a male character, but generally. The traditional naming of a woman, uh, or using the name beef, is for a woman. Alan, pivoting, Mike and Parma uh, wants to know, pivoting pivoting to another kind of spam, did Mary have any while she was in Hawaii? No. You know, spam is huge in Hawaii because, you know, again, 
uh, they don't have a lot of livestock running around there. No spam. Um, we had it last time, and it was uh, it was fine. It was spam and like the I don't remember what they're called, but they're essentially like sushi rolls. It's spam and rice wrapped in um, those seaweed rolls, mm-hmm. and it was just okay last time, so we skipped it this time. But they have them everywhere. Masubi Every, is what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, everywhere Masubi. you go, like uh, they have them in gas stations, coffee shop, like literally you can walk in anywhere and get one of those. But um, no, I did not have any. Of this. Did they have any sushi conveyor belt restaurants in Hawaii? No, but I had some of the best sushi I've ever had at a place called Miso Fat. <laughs> P H A T. I get it. Oh, oh, really? Mm-hmm. It was. On, I man. guess uh, if you didn't get it the first time, we also misspelled fat. Well, that's the other. I thing. I guess you can't spell it F A T. In Everybody all worked up. Hawaiian culture, it seems like they're a little bit behind. Like P H A T, they still say duh, like D A, like duh club. Like people, <laughs> I'm dead serious. Like well, venues. it takes a long time for that information to get from the mainland to Hawaii. You know what a trip that is. Or I'm wondering if it's cultural. I don't know. Hmm. But like bruh is a big thing there. Bruh. Well, it's all surfing. Not, right? but not even like in a chachi way. I don't know how to describe Just it. Just bruh. Yeah. Did any of that rub off on a you bra. in the week you were there? No. Oh. But, Did you uh, uh, hear anybody surfing, uh, talking about surfing tasty waves? No. How far behind the times are they? Not tasty waves behind. Mm. But um. But fat? Fat, P-H-A-T, mm-hmm. duh club. Duh club. Yeah, we were supposed to go to a music, uh, like a, con- not really a concert, whatever, a music event at um, a place called Duh Playground. Mm-hmm. D.A., and mm-hmm. that seems to be very big over there. Oh. People talk like that, too, though. Okay. Like in texting. I see. Hanging out at a bar. And I remember doing that. In and they're like, not being tongue-in-cheek? No. I remember doing that in, like, sixth grade. You were texting people, I'm hanging out at a bar in sixth grade? Oh, I'm going to... Uh, well, you did get going early, yeah, didn't I you? Did. Wow. It's a, it's a good thing I quit. You were just screwed from the jump. No, like... Uh, Never had a chance. I don't even know. No, I got you. I see what's going on. I don't know. You sure it wasn't D-U-H, like an organization for stupid people, Duh, Duh Club? Club. No. Oh. I'm right. in the Duh income, Club. that's where the income queens go, to Duh Club. Duh Club, yep. All right, well, there's a, a little bit of cultural information there uh, for um, courtesy of Mary Santora there in Hawaii. You're welcome. Very exciting. You know, 50 Cent saying about Duh Club. Right, so that's why I'm like... This was 20 years ago. Exactly. I don't know if it's a cultural thing or if it's more just behind the times. I have no idea. You know 50 Cent's from Hawaii. No, he's not. No, he's not. (laughs) I got to take a break. If you want to send a text, 35192 to do that. Um, You can watch at alancockshow.com and we'll be back. It's the Alan Cox Show. Everywhere on our free iHeartRadio app or whatever smart... 